Hey everyone, Genome here, coming to the next quick how-to video. Uh, this one's gonna have to do with the new uh, Rogue RA90 I just picked up. Uh, for those of you who saw the original video, will know that this actually doesn't come with a second strap button. It's only got the, the first one up here at the top of the body. So I'm going to be adding one here. I actually already, already have a workaround. I was doing the old string method, of course, which it works okay, but I wanted uh, the choice to go between. And I have a really cool product here. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, I think the Dario makes this and it's just a quick release. So you attach one in, of course, up here by the headstock or up over the nut, you know, and then the other to your strap and it saves you from having to retie all the time. So just pop that off with a, usually it's an easy button press there. And there you go, and it's off. So we just got that little bit of a tail hanging and you can take that off easily too. I think it's a really cool product, but once again, I wanted the option of um, actually just attaching to the body as well with a regular strap. So I'm going to just really quickly add it on there. Uh, you know, I've never done it on one of these before, but I've worked with <laughs> plenty of lumber and, and, and wood over the years, so how hard can it be? Um, you shouldn't need really any tools after you get the button kit. The button kit, I think, is about five bucks, and uh, it'll look kind of like that. And it's just a three-piece. There we go, the focus in there, and that's it. I'm just gonna be adding that with a screw and this little washer here. So we're just gonna take that little washer here, put it on the back when the time comes, and then run the screw through there. Um, how I'm going to, do, uh, the only tools that looks like I'm gonna need is a way to make a hole. I'm gonna use a drill with a very, very small um, uh, drill bit in there and a Phillips head screwdriver. You could also use the impact driver or the drill to drill it in there, but this is not many turns and you wanna go kind of careful with this stuff. Now, what I have the drill for is to drill a pilot hole. So for those of you not familiar uh, with any kind of woodworking at all or carpentry, generally speaking, when you are drilling in, especially um, lumber that's a little bit drier, if you just screw right directly into there, uh, especially closer to the edges, and I'm not sure how deep this stuff really goes, uh, you usually wanna drill what's called a pilot hole. And that's basically a smaller hole, a hole smaller than the screw that's gonna be going in there. And that usually will keep um, the wood from splintering or splitting. That's especially uh, important closer to the edges of lumber, but that's behind the scope of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and be drilling right in here to the base of the neck and just adding a little pilot hole and then hopefully adding up, which is actually a really long screw, surprisingly, this button. So let's just get into it. All right, so we're gonna go in right about here, kind of at the halfway point in between. And I'm gonna put it on the bottom side of the guitar. But I think you can, you can do it really on either side, but I think the bottom is usually a little more normal. I don't think there's any exact science to it. Just pick a spot and go for it. I'm gonna make this a little bit deep. Make sure also you don't do this too high uh, because a lot of these guitars nowadays have, will have a truss rod in there and you don't want to be bouncing off the truss rod or, or messing with anything. So get it down there kind of deep. And what I like to do, because the hole, I didn't really have a great size bit for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and start the screw. I always try to start in my hand first, if you can. And then we're going to, I'm just gonna work the uh, screw in there a little bit so it's ready. Okay, then I'm gonna back it out. So I've already kind of pre-threaded here. And let's see if you can see that here. Okay, it's a really small hole in there. Um, go in slow because uh, you don't wanna split the finish on the outside. I actually have a ratcheting screwdriver here, but any old screwdriver should work. So now let's go ahead and add, clean up the, oops, excuse me. Go ahead and clean up the edge there a little bit. And I'm gonna add my washer to the back. There's no instructions, but this is the only thing that makes any sense at all. And then we're gonna run the screw right through there. And that keeps you from having to do it like a self-tapping bit too or something on the outside. So, okay, let's go ahead and get her started. And the funny thing, it's a pack of two but I'm not gonna bother popping the other one off even though it's mismatched. Okay, once again, just kind of hand start them. And then we should be just about done. Now, I will say this um, screw seems ridiculously long <laughs> for this operation, but it is what it is, right? So make sure that's lining up pretty decent with the um, washer that's there so there's no overhang. 
and don't over torque it. We don't, this is not gonna be holding up a huge amount of weight, just enough to smash the uh, uh, washer just a little bit. But as you can see, if I can hold up the camera, right, we do see up here to hopefully have a functional strap holder. So let me see, or strap button, excuse me. So let's just test it here. Looks like it works. So I'll put a different strap on it and uh, come back to you real quick just to show you the final results. But this is really a, you know, a few minute hack and it can make your life a lot easier if you don't want to tie to the end. So let me um, put another strap on it and we'll be right back. All right, we are back and I had a strap just laying around here. You can see it attached right here, but uh, let's take it for a test spin. This is just some little strap I had laying around. And there we go. All right, so there you have it. I mean, with an outlay of about $5 and a, uh, a work time of about five minutes, you too can have a guitar that hangs securely and uh, allows you to jam out wherever you like, whenever you like. this is helpful to you don't be afraid of it you too can do it it's easy to upgrade stuff and actually as you can see by some of my older videos I like to do how to's around the house don't be afraid to take on projects yourself sometimes you can do it it just takes a little elbow grease and a little bit of will to proceed well thanks for watching stay tuned for whatever video series I tried to come up with next and until next time this is genome <laughs>